Paladin. Today, we're going to start off with getting a whole bunch of prophecies. Oh, wait, no. We're not going to start off with getting a whole bunch of prophecies. We're going to figure out how the dungeon thing works. Uh, shit. Where's my stash? Uh, so currently we have a prophecy to do Lightless Arbor Dungeon Tier 2. And we're supposed to kill Amber Elementals, which hopefully are like naturally in there. And I don't have to do the dungeon like 10 times to actually get that. But I don't know how it works. Alright, so... I don't remember where the Lightning List Arbor Dungeon is, but if we grab a key from the stash and right click on it. Grab a couple keys. So that's where it is. I guess we go here and go up to the Shrouded Ridge. access to and completion of Lightless Arbor. I don't know what that even means, really. Does that mean... I just need to complete this once, and then I can level through this area? Really, or does leveling through this area still require a key? But this is where I needed to go. Question mark? Okay. There's loot. Personal affixes. Understand me. That's good. Everyone else seems to have lost themselves. As soon as they woke, they started stomping about, rumbling the entire mountain with their steps. They are the only source of life that massive I can sense. So it may have been. Wait, I also detect other humans. And they are all under the mountain. No. This is not good. They won't live there for long while the mountain beneath is lumbering around, causing cave-ins and avalanches. Someone needs to stop them. 
before the humans are all shattered into splinters. You are the only other living being that isn't acting like their head has rotted through. So you're going to have to help me. If you can find a way deeper into the caverns, of course. It's been so long. Can humans see in the dark? That could be a problem. Do not worry, though. There are clusters of pyre amber that give off light you could use. Be careful, though. If your bark is particularly dry, you might catch fire. That's good, then. Hurry, and find a way in there so we can save the humans. Okay. Dungeon boss drops exalted jewelry. Okay. What the fuck is going on here? Okay. It's like a special... I don't like the sound of this. Okay. Gamer Elementals. While it's attached to you, it loses illumination when you are hit. Okay, it's a stupid fucking... It's uh, a little bit similar to Path of Exile build, I guess. But what I really don't like about the, what they're saying here is it weakens when you get hit. Ah, uh, which very much favors a build that is meant to uh, not get hit as I have like a very tanky build so normally I am very fine with getting hit there's the amber elemental So is it perfectly fine then if I have it never attached to me during combat?
It, it seems like you just can't lose illumination if you just don't leave it attached to you, so it's really weird. weird. Like, I don't understand the point of the mechanic. Like, the, the darkness part is fine. The part of losing illumination when you get hit is what I really don't like. Strength, Lira's endurance. are going to scale even harder. Very alarming when you click on the exit to a map and it does not instantly go to a loading screen. I guess this is to teach you about a enkindling mechanic or something. Titan, where you at? Whoops. Oh, I need to press that. Uh, so yeah, I think that was our prophecy completed. Yep, yep, yep. ability being on the hot key D because I end up pressing it sometimes. 
But I'm having to spam it so much. Well, you don't necessarily have to, but I'm spamming it. Damn, that hurt. What the fuck? Having to use it a lot means I'm kind of leaving my finger on the D key when I normally have it on the E key to press my other ability. So sometimes I'm now pressing D when I'm wanting to press E. It's just not good. Okay. I don't know if there's like only one exit to the next area or how this shit works. How long is this shit gonna keep scaling? are nearly there. There is something I must tell you, though. You must stop the mountain beneath, no matter what. Even if you must take your torch and burn this entire forest to ash, the humans living under the mountain must be protected at all costs. I was grown by a terror herself in the temple that was once down here. Unlike the mad, rotted Spriggans of this time, or the selfish, wild-born ones of the past, her will forms my very roots. In her absence, I will protect humans, even if it is only by guiding you. Okay. Uh, looks like we have a boss fight. Hopefully this is not too dangerous. Because... Yeah. There we 
good. What the fuck, bro? There's a way to avoid the roof. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was very scary. Doing a boss fight. <laughs> and not knowing what's going on. 215 more gained on potion use. That's a lot. Uh, I was kind of hoping for more loot. Peak of the mountain. Good chance. Cannot leech from crits. I have all attributes. I have all attributes is pretty good. I don't think the game ever actually explained to me what the heck a legendary potential even is. But we've seen some uniques have it, and then some uniques have uh, Weaver's Will. But it seems like very few uniques have Weaver's Will. I think I've only seen it on like three things. And one of them I got of that item and the uh forget where it was but I got two of that item and both of them had Weaver's Will so I feel like the Weaver's Will is actually only on three set uniques The ones that I've gotten legendary potential on. There it is. There's the Weaver's Will ones. So both of this item have Weaver's Will. But out of the ones that I've gotten legendary potential on, I don't. I think I've gotten any that have more than one... I don't think I have more than one copy of any of those items, so I don't know... if Legendary Potential is... like, guaranteed, or... what... on those... We've done it! Though, I admit I was not expecting you to take my... burning the entire forest to ash example quite so literally that aside i think i know what the mountain beneath was heading towards after all there is something in the temple here radiating power maybe they were hoping to chomp it up in their big rocky moor oh yes let me just reach into the roots near it and yes it, it seems to want once yes you give it something you want and it might give you something you want more humans want shiny gold things right if you give it some of those 
That might work. Wither and die, probably. There are no routes connecting this place with where the humans are hiding. And even if I could travel there, it won't be long before this world finishes dying. You are not going to die with it, though. I can tell. You shouldn't worry about it. I'm just a Spriggan, after all. But if you are really worried about it, here. Take a clipping of me and plant it somewhere else. Maybe I'll take root. There is no need to thank me. You're the one who saved all those humans, after all. At the cost of burning up what is probably the last forest in this ruined world. But that is okay. Farewell. Okay. Vault of Uncertain Fate. Okay. So we spend money and improve the vault reward, I guess. Sure. Sure. Oh my god, I don't got that much money. I don't know how many chests there are in this place, but... Oh well. Uh, I would say sure here, but I'm out of money. Many runes to a random chest. That's probably not financially worth it. But hey. Let's see what's in here. Da, da, da. I guess you need a lot of money before you come here, and then you can just get like shitloads of stuff. Where's all the chests? There's only one chest? Why is there only one chest? They're talking about adding stuff to all chests and there's only one chest. That's fucked up. What a scam. Uh, I don't think I have these. So, I guess we got ourselves. Something new. Set bonus plus two to Avalanche. Be like a druid, that bonus. Wait, a hundred percent less damage taken on block. Reduce block chance. <laughs> I 
I've gotten this before, but... Uh... Well, I guess you could have... 20% block chance. But then the block when you do block, you take zero damage. That's what I'm getting out of this. But I don't like how they don't. Seem to like reflect that properly. I've gotten that item before, but... Now I've got a better idea of what it actually does. Uh, it doesn't have a level requirement, so... I always thought it was like some crappy... Low level... Item. And then, like, obviously, it, it has very few, like, stats on it. Uh, yeah, I, I think the reduced block chance thing is a multiplier. So if you, if you have, like, rings with the block chance stat on it, stuff like that. What is it, like, rings and gloves that you can get that on? Uh, then it... That, uh, that block chance that you get from those other items is also reduced. Oh, and the block chance that we get from passives on the tree. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, with the amount of block chance and block effectiveness that we have, I think we're better off just from a pure hit damage reduction. I think we're better off with our current shield. Like, not even taking the resistances that we get from our shield into account. the one-hander for that. Each thing. Let me compare this. Poison on hit with fire skill. Ruby Venom on block. What does Ruby Venom do? Do they tell you somehow? Oh. Increased fire damage per stack of Ruby Venom. Increased poison damage per stack of Ruby Venom. Hit with fair skill. Uh, I don't know if any other classes 
really are viable to use shields besides my class, so... Just wondering if this is supposed to be a thing for my class. Look at all that melee fire damage. Just the shield you could do with a ranged, a ranged build, but the one-hander obviously is a melee fire build. Also poison. Which suggests that you should be doing a, not just a fire build per se, but a fire damage over time type of thing. Like you want the damage over time modifier on your gear to scale both fire and poison. Um, a melee fire damage. I'm wondering if like a druid build could actually go with this, or if it's really just a sentinel thing. Guess we're done. See where we are on the map now. You can't run. <laughs> Fucking dudes with no name plays. Oh, sorry, nameplate isn't the right terminology. Uh, from a World of Warcraft perspective. Uh, nameplate is not the correct word. Uh, unit frame. It should be like a target frame thing at the top of the screen. Well. Obviously the... it's a... It's a UI thing. Well... At least our reflected damage is actually doing something. Uh... Do I have to go through here? Probably? Maybe? I wanted the waypoint, but... I'm not sure if this is how we get to the waypoint. It's not looking so good. It's kind of looking like it just skipped us ahead. Looks like I just skipped this ahead a little bit in the campaign. Well, while I'm here, I guess I might as well go do the Soulfire Bastion dungeon. 
Uh, I'm really annoyed though that I did not get that waypoint. That was... No waypoint for me. Maybe there's a way back. Let's go see if there... This is going to take a while to explore the map, potentially, but... These are all low-level enemies. Let's see if we can find a portal. I still have illumination. I feel like it just put me back where I came in from. Sure. Is there a way to get over to this waypoint? This seems a lot like. Oh, it was when I came in. Ah, 
Uh, this is hopefully a dead end down here. No, it didn't, but hopefully this is like the end. I think I'm just going to fully explore this place, and then... I don't know if we have to go through that. But the quest is telling me to explore, so... Is this whole thing going to like wrap around and actually get to the waypoint? Prophet of Ruin. Oh, I feel like I've fought this guy before. done that before. Yeah, that was weird. Seems like we didn't actually get anything out of that. Apart from removing an icon off the screen. Yeah, these stupid icons do annoy me. here that I missed or what? Possibly. It's here in a different time. Definitely been here on a different character. I think on this character I did. Just like, oh, this area. There's nothing in it. We're not gonna even go there. But there is a waypoint there. We just come here for completion. Uh. We're not getting a little optional quest thing, which is what I thought we would be getting. 
Was there another area that I also haven't been to? I hate how the markers disappear when you zoom out enough. Yeah, I don't know if there's more. Or if there actually is something in this area that I just don't know about. I suppose we could clear through here. I mean, I know I cleared through here on a different character. I don't know if I actually cleared the entire map, though. I feel like there was like a boss fight. And then I just teleported back it afterwards. Stand down or die. Down or die. Cheerion's petal. I guess that guy's like a unique guy, because I'm under the impression that Stand down or die. unique, like, only drops from him. Ah, uh, but yeah, that seems like that was kind of the entire purpose of this zone. I don't know. So the other area I really wanted to try was... Well, I mean... I want to do all the dungeons, but... Specifically, I'm looking for the arena. Where's the arena?
Where am I going? I'm looking for Kolheim Pass. What level area is this? 47. annoyed that stupid dungeon gave me only one chest at the end. There's gotta be some way to get multiple chests. I don't know if I just needed to like kill more monsters in the dungeon or how that actually works. Supposed to be a waypoint. Oh, I couldn't read the X is way up there. Uh, but yeah, there's supposed to be a waypoint. I would like to find that. Found it. I'm wondering a bit, maybe this node actually just sucks. I really don't know how the scaling on it goes, apart from it benefits from melee damage instead of spell damage. But 
I don't think I have that much melee damage. I still don't know if it actually scales with freaking uh, strength at all, or. Because we have we have a couple things that give us a bunch of spell damage with a shield. So it might actually be better to leave it scaling with spell damage. Uh, anyways, we have arrived at the Champion's Gate, and there's a lot of people what here. What do you want? Serena. Stay safe. So I assume you click on that to go into the arena, but let's get the waypoint. Oh, there's more people to talk to.
Rain dummies. Why are there so many training dummies? Uh, I guess if you have damage numbers turned on, you might be interested in that. Counts as an enemy. What about the other ones? What makes that one special? Uh, what's down here? Huh? Not where I came in. Uh, maybe that's... Hmm. I guess the game just puts you up here by default for convenience of getting to the arena as fast as possible. Uh... Dying or leaving through a portal fails the attempt. Uh, let's put all these back and then what do we got here? Why did I pick this up? Trying the arena, I guess. Okay, here's the leaderboard, I guess. This is why it said waves on the leaderboard. Heels up. From your character level to level 100 over the first 80 waves. Alright, so we were hardcore, one player, sentinel class, cycles release. Supposedly, she could filter just by your mastery class. Ah, uh, but yeah, supposedly. A level 70 character can get a level 100 stuff. Whoops. Looking at that backwards. This is the wave cap. Player level. Uh. Yeah, obviously, most of these are higher level character. Level 78. Wave 139. I don't know if they have some kind of super busted build, though.
I don't know though if it's something that you just quit out of or um Like if you if you die in here does that just put you on the leaderboard at that point or are you actually dead on your hardcore character? Uh, I guess let's try this tier one arena thing. Fight through 40 waves. At the end is an arena champion. I'm hoping this means that they're all going to be level 50 enemies? Question mark. Oh, this is looking like one of those monolith maps that just spawns lots of dudes. Oh, I see up in the upper right it says Arena Wave 2. I wonder if the monolith maps say that, and I just never noticed it. It feels so strange to me how small these waves are. Something is still alive. Select your loot and press onwards, traveler. What loot? Oh, do I click these? Right. Okay. So I guess every five waves you get to choose continue moving guys. I'm gonna wait for them really. Really annoying. Alright. Good modifier. Uh Ah, uh, this will go a lot faster if we don't get those stupid slow moving zombie dudes. Stand down or duck. Yeah. Down or die. Uh-huh. 
I like exalted items, but I have no idea how difficult this arena champion is gonna be. Stand down or die. If I keep bumping up the multipliers, it could be a bad idea. I feel like the multipliers in general are just a really bad idea. One of the best things about this game, I would say, is that uh, the stats on your gear never really scale to ridiculous levels. Like, we're doing like tens of thousands of DPS instead of millions or billions of DPS. gold or something. piece of armor 160 percent uh i don't know about that the arena champion drops an arena key sounds like good stuff to me oh, was it 40 waves I just had 40 waves earlier. We potentially fight the arena champion right after this. Is this like a damaging area in the center? I 
I don't see how much damage he's doing. Pretty good amount of damage. Definitely don't want to stand in that stuff. Obviously, I did not buff the arena champion nearly as much as the game lets me. Woman of Thunder. Totem. Okay. Tier two, level seventy. All right. This was level fifty. Seventy. It's gonna be then like eighty-five, and then level hundred. Or is the endless arena just supposed to be it? I wonder how the Endless Arena even works. Like, do you even fight an arena champion then? Maybe you fight one like every... so many levels. You start off with a modifier, apparently. Or we can do Endless Arena. I just really wish I knew how the leaderboard part worked. Or like how the... I should say, how, how it works as far as... Like, does this only let you freaking... Does it only let you quit every 10 waves or whatever? Sort of like... It only lets you... Wait, was it 10 waves or was it 5 waves? Uh, where it lets you select stuff. Because I'm wondering... Uh, like, does that mean this guy died on wave 118? Or... Or, like, teleported out or something? Or... Did he have the option to... Stop at 118 somehow? Or... What? If he did die, is he dead dead? I didn't notice... I, I hate how they don't have ranks 1, 2, and 3 here. So the, the top ones are actually... ...doing a bit higher. Mastery skill for Paladin is Holy Aura. <sighs> I 
Also really annoying that it's a little bit slow to load the Lord. Yeah, not a little bit, it's very slow to load the lead at war. Uh, so yeah, I was just wondering, are all of these paladins? Looks like it. Uh, but they're not all doing the exact same build. So I guess that's good news. Definitely all have Holy Aura and Healing Hands. Uh, I guess they also all have Sigils of Hope. Interesting. Uh, I didn't like the Sigils of Hope when I tried it. Uh, But it's uh it's cause it costs so much mana. And then they're just there for a duration, and then you have to recast them. But it's uh definitely something that I could see that scales a lot better. Later in the game, when you have more gear, or that Five, mana isn't really seven. a problem. Safe travels. I don't know if my character is at that point yet, but... And maybe you can decrease the mana cost a little bit also. Not that that is necessarily the best... Most optimal build, but... Uh, anyways. I think we'll come back another time. I've got a little bit of a headache. I don't want to keep playing right now. So. Next time, I guess, we'll do the other dungeons and potentially more arena. Uh, but we're probably going to do prophecy stuff first. Uh, since a lot of the prophecies had to do with uh, doing the arena at a certain tier or a dungeon at a certain tier. Uh, we're gonna probably want to do a lot of prophecy stuff. Spend a bunch of favor. Uh, and then of course we'll get more Rewards. Right to result. Items that would drop as rare have a 25% chance of becoming exalted. That's a lot. I mean. A lot of these bonuses are. Freaking very strong.
Uh, but yeah, we gotta we gotta spend the money or the favor to get our reputation up, and of course, just we'll get a lot of rewards from those prophecies. Oh, trading items via the bazaar or directly with the other. Wait, what? Oh, wait. Is the bazaar just an auction house with other players, or is the bazaar something else where you're like trading with NPCs or something? I assumed it was an auction house, but. The wording on this is kind of weird. Like, why wouldn't they just say, Aligning with the Merchant's Guild enables you to trade with other players. Unless there's... Maybe the bazaar... Maybe there's more to the bazaar. Uh, but yeah. I am solo. So, no trading here. 